came to LA with the girls in, I think it was 97. We stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel. And it was the first time, when, when we landed, it was the first time we'd been picked up ever in um, a limousine. Even though we got to see it, we, we were working. So I kind of, you know, didn't have too much downtime. Whereas somewhere like Brazil, I had a lot of downtime and it was nice. I figured I'd make the decision to move here. Having had my time in London and done what I needed to do there work-wise, I thought I'd branch out and try Hollywood. thought I'd live anywhere apart from Leeds when I was growing up. But then I got to an age where I knew I, I wanted to get out of Leeds and go and see what else was going on in the world. Like London. <laughs> I branched that far out. <laughs> and then I got to travel the world and see everything. I don't miss London because I've travelled for so long. It's always been very busy and rush here, rush there, get stuck in traffic, make 10,000 phone calls, do your meetings and then go home. LA, I've got to know it on in a, in a different respect. It's quite quiet and, you know, I've got a life here with my daughter and my dog and I'm pretty settled. Am I invisible to emotional? <laughs> Like everybody else, I've got many different levels, many different layers. I don't, I don't know what, how, to, how to tell you. I, I, think it's, I think it's pointless trying to tell somebody how you are. They, they have to see it. And I, I used to always laugh at my mum and dad when they used to make shopping lists. And I've actually made one today. Where is it? <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> Why does that always happen to me? Maybe I've got ADD or something. Oh, it really is got a ha. Bin liners, chewing gum. I want to get my mum a big spice rack. Chicken broth. Orange juice, tomatoes, carrots, celery, eggs, garlic, ham, not honey roasted. Some sea bass, some normal milk. Some... Who's put granola bars on it? Let's go. I don't really know what the public think of me. I think I can be quite intense and upfront. I don't know if that's scary or not. I don't know. I know what my friends and family think of me. <laughs> Pain in the ass, but nice. <laughs> See, this is when you need to have a man to pack it in for you. Somebody to change light bulbs and all that kind of stuff. The media in London can be a bit intrusive, well, a lot intrusive. And I think that's what comes along with doing you know, the kind of job that I'm doing, being in the entertainment world, you kind of have to accept that you're going to get written about or talked about when, you, when you're promoting your album, when you're doing movies, you know, you're going to get talked about. It might not be truthful, well, nine times out of ten it's not truthful, but, yeah, that's one of those things you just got to accept and not take too much notice of. I've got half my beach stuff in here. Half my yoga stuff. So sure, I'm... I used to get a bit annoyed about it, but then, you know, it's just one of those things that you just got to deal with. And I'm, and I'm a big believer in having a private life. I think there are ways around it where people don't have to know you're everything. You know, and you've got, you've got to keep something for yourself. This isn't my main shop, this is a top-up shop. Orange juice, tomatoes, cranberry juice, chewing gum, celery, garlic, apricots, dates. Frosted flakes, I don't know, I guess you've got to work at it and think about where you've been, what you've done and where you want to go as a person. The best thing that's happened to me in LA is I've had downtime where you can just be rather than, you know, always thinking about the next thing you're going to do. 
the worst thing that's happened is I, <laughs> I got sent to New York and I had to be disciplined. <laughs> Even though it was a good career move, I really enjoyed that I'd been given a chance to do something like that. But it was hard work. Probably the hardest I've ever had to work in my whole entire life. If I had my life again because I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be the person I am, I wouldn't have the experience and the knowledge that I've learnt from doing what I've, I've done and being who I've been and saying what I've said. So, no, I wouldn't change a thing. But actually getting up on stage and performing and being part of a company and doing Broadway was amazing. Looking back, my friend, you should say to yourself. I like the instantness of doing it on stage. Yeah, you did your best, just there is nothing else. You know, I've ended up going back to singing and doing an album and really, really excited about that. Career-wise, I've, I've learned so much from making the choices that I've made. An LA state of mind. <laughs> That's a good question. Relaxed, but at the same time, you're in LA, so it's all about kind of hustling and working, getting your, your, your stuff done because it's a place where everybody comes and they kind of think that they're going to get discovered. And a lot of them do. So it's that chilled out vibe with a bit of an edge of, oh, anything could happen today. I woke up today to a sunbleed sky Gonna give myself time to unwind Destination Malibu Beach. <laughs> Nobody walks. Oh look, there's a few people walking. Two. You can live a very reclusive life here if you're not careful. And this place can be pretty soul destroying. The view on, from my deck makes you feel as though you're in the middle of it all, but actually you're not. So you can look down on all the madness that goes on in the city. LA state of mind. Come and join me. And she moves stuff, and then I can't find anything. Where's all my makeup? Let's get this out of there. There's my friend Christine's birthday today. And I know her through my friend Millie. Me and Millie, we talk like three, four times a day. We moan about our kids. <laughs> and we moan about. We just moan. One of those friends that we, that we moan. We moan to each other about stuff. Melanie, C and Emma, they came to see me in New York with their mums, which is really nice. They came to see the show and we had dinner, which is very, I felt 
very honoured and very nervous. So that was really nice that they made an effort to come out to New York and hang. That's my She's issue. Possessed. I'm possessed <laughs> by a lot of plastic furniture. Because I think, you know, when you have good friends, you phone them up when you're in, when you're in doubt or you're in need or you're down, whatever it is, and they comfort you and give you advice about stuff. Oh my God! What's house of the pie? chair? She was so fidgety. The chair kept rattling. That is right. I'm, I'm gonna have 150. Have you got that? Um... Needle where you cast it all off. Yeah, I think friends they give you that support and that confidence in yourself, which sometimes you don't always well, sometimes I don't always have. I get vulnerable and I have down days just like everybody else does. It's a little bit looser, but it still feels the same. Let's be honest. When you're sitting down and you're talking about something, whether it be something emotional, personal, whatever, that helps you come to terms with things. Because by saying it, you're verbalising it and it registers. Oh. And then hopefully the person that you're verbalising it to will have a good way of helping you understand it more. These. And. You see, I'm not one of those girls that spends too long getting ready because then you just lose the momentum and you start going, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that to my face or, oh, maybe I won't wear that top. If I can find the top when I'm aware. I have to go get changed now. I'll be back in a minute. My friends are there and I was like, oh, bright blue trousers. And I went, oh. oh. I'm wearing green. Better. as well as the people that you already know. Because everybody brings somebody. That can be fun. You know, the club scene, the bar scene, all that gets really boring. Unless you go out with a good group of friends. Like if it's an occasion, I think, yeah, go for it. But I don't want to stand at a bar and have cheesy people saying cheesy lines to me. I'd rather be with my friends or entertaining myself. Hey, 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 it'll be okay. I trust 
trust in your word you bring me back to us Release those cassavas. Where are we going? Fabric. Rusty's got us a record opening. I, 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 she's Nothing easy about being a single parent, but then again, there's nothing that easy about being a parent anywhere. Uh, it's fun being a parent, that I know, but it has its ups and downs. Mum, did I, um, did I be a helper and pet you something? When you have to set rules and guidelines and stick to them, and you know, you have to be an example for your kid. I have to be an example for Phoenix, so whatever I say, I have to make sure that I'm sticking to. And I'm, you know, being the best mum that I could be to her. And give me the... <laughs> I mean, that's all right, you can put that down there and give me that. I don't, I don't need the lid, I just need that bit that you're holding, yeah. And I'm telling her the information that she needs to know to flourish and grow in the right way. That's, oh, whoa! Yeah, it's, a, it's an ongoing thing, I learned something new every day being a mum and I learn off her every day because they, you know, she's, she's changed so much from when she was little. What did you do at school today, Phoenix? Huh? I don't remember. <laughs> you always say that. I worry that when she's 11, 12, 13, they're going to be doing a lot more than what I did, whether it be sex, drugs, you know. I think that's really worrying. I'll tell you what you can do. I can set up your blackboard to paint. We can paint on my blackboard. Yeah. Shall I do that? She's surrounded by the entertainment world. And she's been, you know, she's seen a lot. She's been to the theatre with me. She's been on set with me. Um, I think it's important to keep kids active when they're young. I'm going to the water. Is, I told you not to touch the pit, anything downstairs. <laughs> I didn't. No, I'll just love and support and give her as much advice from where I've been and what I've done as possible. It's amazing what kids can do to your state of mind. A B C D E F G H I J K. When I wake up to your smile Nothing else compares An angel sent you here You're my beautiful girl When you look at me that way You and I both know I'm helplessly in love Freddie Flintstone table. 
That was fun. And it was nice because it's come from a really unpressured, undirected centre. It's just come from three people sitting down and writing music for the hell of it and coming up with amazing, amazing tracks, amazing lyrics, amazing vibe. It's come from a really healthy place, very true and honest place. I looked at my diaries, I looked at um, what I was thinking and feeling that day and what I'd written down. Yeah, it's all just come from here. It was just, okay, let's get together, we've got time on our hands, let's see what, see what we've come up with. What we do with it later down the line is it, not important right now, let's just sit and write some good songs. <laughs> It's funny because normally when you write songs, you know, there's one or two where you're like, oh, I'll leave that for a B-side or, oh, that's not as strong as the others. Whereas every single song that I've done, I, it's just as good as the other one. I love My Beautiful Girl. Then again, I love Bad Bad Girl because that's rocky. I love Say 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 because it's very intimate and very personal and very simple. I love the Latin one because it's just out there, salsa, all of them. <laughs> I can't decide. Something beautiful today is gonna happen. I can feel it in my bones, it's gonna happen. Yeah, this feeling I'm feeling. a great album and if if they like it then it'll be released and it'll be out there for people to listen to and people to enjoy if people don't like it then it stays on my cd rack for me forever <laughs> either way it's gonna be something that i've that i feel very passionate about and something that i've created and feel really proud of today's the day that's basic lyrical content and the melody and the structure of it, no way would I change it. This is why I live in LA, pop in the car and go to the beach. I think your life kind of, you have many paths that you can choose in your life. And I got an opportunity that, to choose this path and I took it and I ran with it. And whether that's luck, I don't know whether it's meant to be. I don't know whether it's me being in the right time at the right place. I don't know whether it's my destiny. I don't know, I don't have the answers for that. But all I know is I'm here. We're off. And I'm enjoying it. As we travel through life, the seasons change, but the truth remains the same always. So pause for a second, take a breath. There for people to listen to and people to enjoy. If people don't like it, then it stays on my CD rack for me forever. Either way, it's going to be something that I've, that I feel very passionate about and something that I've created and feel really proud of. Today's the day that something great I know is gonna happen. Today, today, no, I can't wait. I know it's got my name on today. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna happen today. 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 Today
classic lyrical content and the melody and the structure of it. No way would I change it. Your life kind of, you have many paths that you can choose in the life. And I got an opportunity that to choose this path and I took it and I ran with it. And whether that's luck, I don't know whether it's meant to be. I don't know whether it's me being in the right time at the right place. I don't know whether it's my destiny. I don't know, I don't have the answers for that. But all I know is I'm here. We're off. And I'm enjoying it. We travel through life, the seasons change, but the truth remains the same always. So pause for a second, take a breath, and maybe then you'll understand it's okay to feel helpless, and ask the questions why. If you hold 